former Huntington Beach mayor and UFC world champ Tito Ortiz joins me now. Tito, what do you think of the Biden pitch to Hispanics? <sighs> Pandering at its worst. It's uh, pretty embarrassing what they're trying to do. Uh, I've watched this over the last uh, three and a half years, and it's just how much more can our country take before people stand up? And on all the Latino friends that I have, everybody that has been waiting in line to get in, across the border, it's no longer Mexicans that are trying to get across the border. It's everybody from every other country. And it's just, I feel bad for our country right now. People need to stand up and make their vote be heard. If their votes aren't going to be heard, I, I don't know what's going to happen next for our country. And it's really hard for me because being a blue-collared man with uh, three boys and the future of them, I got to make sure I stand up and let my voice be heard. That's why I'm on here with you, Jesse, and thank you for letting me to be on with you tonight. Of course, Tito. We're always welcome on Jesse Waters Primetime. You just heard President Donald Trump, former president, spell out the entrepreneurial pitch. I'm a businessman. I was good for business in my four years. Is that sticking? Well, you know, I think it really comes down to the things that when I lived in Huntington Beach, California, I had five businesses. And you got to understand, I've known Donald Trump since 2000. I fought his casino at the Trump Taj Mahal. I worked on the Celebrity Apprentice with him. And to see what type of businessman he was, what type of father he was, what type of patriot he is for this country, for a billionaire to step up for this country and willing to risk everything to protect this country, my hat's off to him. And I will support him till he's no longer around. And that's the way I feel. But I think there's a lot of Latinos that feel the same way because they come to this country to make sure that we have our faith, we have our family, and we have our freedoms. These are the things that this country that cannot lose. If we lose that, there's no turning back. And people need to understand that now, this is our time to take back America, because we cannot lose it for the future of our children, for all the future of everybody that does want to come across the border legally. Because it's, once again, it's not just Mexicans that are coming across the border. People don't understand that. There's children trafficking, there's drugs that are coming across. All the cartel are doing the things that America people don't like. And you can see all across the border in Texas, Arizona, California, it's, it's just, it's shambles of what the border control, excuse me, the border patrol can't take care of. And it's because of the uh, legislative and the policies that the Biden regime is doing right now. And it's sad for this country. And I hope people listen to me as a blue collared man that has to re come, relocate here in Florida, open my own business, Tito's Cantina, Tequila Bar and Grill, here in Cape Coral, to redo the American dream because I lost everything after 2020. And it's hard for me because I'm still trying to take care of my children as a blue collar man. So for me, speaking to the public, speaking to everybody here on Fox News and Jesse Waters, thank you very much for having me on here. But at the same time, people, we need to come together. We need to make sure that we make America great again because it's very, very important. Tito's Cantino, what would happen if that Venezuelan migrant broke into that place and squatted and thought it was his own? Um, well, I'm very <laughs> thankful for uh, Sheriff Carmine here in Lee County. Uh, it's law and order here. There's law Good. and order in this city. Good. There's law and order in this county. There's law and order in the state. Thanks to uh, Ron DeSantis. You know, another thing is the school situation here. There's no woke agenda here in Florida. It's wonderful. I love it. I'm thankful for the, the politicians who have stepped up to protect this state. And I wish other states would step up and do the same thing, too. And I believe other states do. But at the same time, all the uh, sanctuary states, they need to understand. Because I see a lot of people that come down from up north, down here to Florida, to get away from that. And they're like, Tito, we're, we're losing our cities. We're losing our state. And I'm like, you guys need to vote the right way. Instead of running away from it, as I had to, I had no choice. Because when I was on city council, when I was, was mayor pro tem, they were destroying me. And once again, I'm a blue-collar guy. I'm not a billionaire. I can't take care of my country for the rest of my life. I can't lose everything. And they were trying to destroy my name when I was on city council. So that's why I walked away. That's why I stepped away. All right. I want to give the future of my children a great future. And that's why I'm here in Florida doing well, this. Well, that's great. You're making a good case. And if you make that case even more, I'm going to have to just sell my house in New Jersey and move to Florida. Tito Ortiz, great to well, have you on. let me tell on. you, the, in, the inflation <laughs> is killing us right now. I, and uh, we, this I is something go. that's really hear important you. as being a restaurant owner. Yep. Tito's Cantina. I, please, people. Everybody Trump check it out and go get a drink and a, and a nice hot meal. Thanks, Tito. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.